Hello and welcome to Lunchtime Prayer Power. Today we're praying for the media mountain and things like that are, are reporting about the news. We're praying to remove a spirit of error from this media mountain and praying for God's truth to abound by the power of his Holy Spirit. Now the spirit of error includes false doctrines and twisted truths. Now false doctrines contradict scripture and the spirit behind it. The spirit of truth leads people to God, while false spirits lead them away. So we want to pray for the spirit of error to be removed. Any false doctrines that are being perpetuated in the news, we want that to be removed and for God's truth to abound by the power of the Holy Spirit. John 16 and 13 tells us, however, when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. Now in first John, John warns us about this spirit of error, as well as talks to us about the importance of testing the spirits, whether they are from God because many false prophets have gone into the world. And that was thousands of years ago, but we know that false prophets are rising. So let's take a look at this in 1 John 4, 1 through 6. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this, you know the spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. Verse four, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak as of the world and the world hears them. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And we want to watch and guard against the spirit of error. And we want to be wise. Amen. We want to be discerning. We want God's truth to abound in the media. Psalm 92 and 15 tells us that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. The psalmist David says, so God is not double-minded. He's not unrighteous. So there is no spirit of error in him. He is truth. And the spirit of truth has come, amen, into the world. So we want to receive that, the power of the Holy Spirit and allow him to help us discern between truth and false. Jesus told the Pharisees that their father was the devil and he is the father of lies. There's no truth in him, but God is is full of truth and there's no deception in God. Amen. Let us begin to pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for your truth. We thank you for who you are. You're a God of mercy and justice. You love justice. You do not walk in lies and deception. You walk in the truth. There's no darkness in you. You move darkness. You are powerful. You're all knowing, omniscient, omnipresent. You're seated on the throne. We lift your name on high on today. We exalt you, Father God, for being the one and true living God. We exalt you for being magnificent, for loving us. You first loved us and we love you, Lord. We love you. Hmm. And you love us with an everlasting love that you're pouring out on this earth right now. You're pouring out your love. You're pouring out your Holy Spirit. You're pouring out who you are upon this earth. Help us to catch it right now, Father God. Help us to catch the love that you have for us. Help us to catch the truth. Help us to catch hold of and embrace the truth and not embrace the lies of the wicked one, but to honor your truth and speak your truth. Your truth is the only truth. There is no other truth. You are truth. And we speak you, Father God. We pray against a spirit of error and false doctrine in media. We pray against the perpetuating of lies in media. We pray against false doctrines being spread, being taught in media, in news media. And Father God, we may not see all the ins and outs of this right now, but like broken glass crashing. I just see that in the spirit, broken grass clashing uh, and this 
coming to an end of this uh, destructive media, Father God. We pray, Lord, for our eyes to be opened. Help our eyes to be opened, Lord. Help our eyes to see clearly what you see, Lord, so we can discern and rightly divide. Father God, help us, Lord, not to be deceived in this hour by false doctrines, by spirit of error. Help us not to consume those things. Hmm. Help us, Father God, to spend time in your word, spend time in your presence as you refine us, as you invigorate us, as you refresh us, Father God. Help us to sit at your table. Help us to sup with you. Help us to allow you to breathe on us. Breathe on us now, Lord. Breathe afresh. Breathe anew. Refresh us, Lord, and revive us in this hour. Revive us again, O oh Lord. We pray, Father God, that you would heal and restore the media mountain where cracks and crevices have come in to try and divide the news media that have tried to distort and perpetuate things. Father God, we pray for these false doctrines to be exposed. Any twisted truths that are contradicting your scripture, Father God, we pray for it to be exposed. Help us to discern the spirit behind things and to test the spirits and not to just take information and run with it because many false prophets have come into the world and have gone out to deceive many if possible, even the elect. So Father God, we pray in this hour, Lord, help us open our eyes, remove the scales, help us to confess your word, help us to confess Jesus Christ and him alone in this hour. Help us to speak clearly, Lord. We pray for your spirit of truth to abound in this hour and the false spirits to be removed, to be cast down. We bind every wicked and plan, plot and assignment of the enemy, Lord. And we pray for your hedge of protection around this media mountain, that your truth is being protected, Lord. We pray, Father God, that you would release the warring angels to help fight against the tactics of the evil one who seeks to deceive many in this hour, who seeks to use lying signs and wonders, who seeks to report false truths and false doctrines, who seeks to distort the good, to call good evil and evil good. Father God, we know you do not accept or tolerate that. So help us, Lord. We want to speak good and say it's good and not evil. We want to say that evil is evil. So help us in this hour, Father God, to speak Mm. so clearly not to mince words shine a light upon it father god expose it right now father god and mercy upon those perpetuating lies and false doctrines and false truths some not even knowing that they have the spirit of air that they're operating in this help us father god mm. help us lord because some are looking at the news media and saying how is this even in the news media how is there even the false doctrines lord how is this even this air that's there? But Lord, you know, things are coming and things have been released in the earth. So Father God, we want to pray against it. Even if we can't see exactly where it is right now, we break and bind every power of the wicked one to bring it in, to, to uh, reveal it, Father God. We pray against these powers of darkness to try and break down the media sector to make it something it's not, to be used as puppets, Father God. We do not want that. We pray against it right now. We push back the darkness in our cities. We push back the darkness right now, coming against the media mountains, the media mountain rather. We pray in this hour, Lord, that you will overshadow us with your presence. We want to see you. We want to see your glory, Lord. We want to see your power in this earth. We want to see the fullness of you. In your presence is the fullness of joy and let your joy overflow in us, Father God through your Holy Spirit. Rain down from above, Lord. Rain down. Shine in the light upon these things in this hour. You are a good God. We worship you in spirit and in truth. Help us to continue to look upon you in this time to help us hmm, to continue to press into you in this hour, to continue to push back the darkness to continue to fight, to continue to war, to continue to speak to the mountains, to come down, hmm, and that you would be lifted up on the media mountain, that you would be lifted up on the media mountain, but that the mountains of lack, the mountains of deception, the mountains of ill gain, the mountains that should not be there to be brought low and the valleys to be brought high. You're lifting up some in this hour and some are being brought down, but we pray for the grace and the mercy to fall upon those that are being lifted up and being some brought down 
and then the right season they can be restored those that are being brought down in this hour some being blindsided by the attacks of the enemy father god we pray lord help them to see in this media mountain help them to see those that are being attacked and about to be blindsided in this hour show them your way lord show them your way and turn it around. If those that do, do not have to be brought down, Father God, that you would turn it away from them, that they would be able to walk uprightly, help them, Father God, and count them with your Lord, crown them with your word. Help them in this hour, Father God, to move circumspectly, to walk lowly with a contrite heart, to move in different ways and to see your plans come to pass on this earth. We pray mercy upon them. And for those getting advanced, we pray for provision. We pray for wisdom. We pray for their hearts, their character to be developed. We pray, Father God, that they will be able to stand and having done all to stand, stand therefore, that they would stand righteously, fully equipped, fully armored and garments of righteousness, garments of praise. We thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in this hour to promote your kingdom, to advance your glory. You are a magnificent God and we exalt you on today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God is awesome. He never ceases to amaze me. He always he's shows up and shows out. He's an amazing God. Look for God in your day. Look for God in the little things because he's everywhere. He's omnipresent. He's such a sweet God too. He's looking to bless you. He's looking to promote you. He's look, looking to advance you. He loves you so much and he wants to see his plans established in the earth through you. You have a plan for your life. Don't shrink back. Don't hide from God because you really can't hide. We saw that from Jonah. He's everywhere. He's absolutely everywhere. He's in the, the ocean. He's on top of the mountain. He's in the valley. He's everywhere. And that's a good thing. We want to just honor him on today. Well, continue to join with us as we pray for the seven mountains of influence and watch God move. Be blessed. <laughs>